showing you guys a little trick here. Um, it's coming into late fall now. I'd almost call it winter at this point. Here in Northern Michigan, it's late November. Um, or no, I'm sorry, it's December now. Uh, early December, I haven't had any snow yet, shockingly. But uh, I'm out here catching some beavers. We got a little ice on the ponds last night, which this is a way, guys, use the ice. You can see exactly where the beavers are going at this time. Like, cause you know, you, you see lots of these runs where they're cutting timber and stuff. They're not always using those. You can see exactly what they're using right now. Even if there's, you know, fresh chewings here and there, they're not necessarily going there, but with this, you can see, because the beavers, they leave a bubble trail everywhere they go. So if you guys can take a look here, you can see exactly the beavers have been back here. I know that their house is out. I, actually, that's their house right back there. And you can see there's some bubbles that are swimming along the dam here. You can see one came up in here. One went that way. You can't see it through this brush but I saw over there there's some broken ice actually where he was coming out to get a breath so I know looking at this I know what channels they're swimming in I know exactly where to set my traps now so follow the bubble trails you'll see exactly where they're going it's perfect all right guys so you got this nice channel right here um, little channel they got right behind the camera it comes up and they're cutting a bunch of timber in the woods um, so we're going to throw a 330 in here real quick um, I'm not completely sure how much they're using this so I am going to throw a little bit of caster lure up behind it here just to try and lure them in even if they're not really necessarily using it um, that way it could work as a cast mount set could work as just a, a pinch down set so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a couple sticks like this. Shove that in there. And then up here, basically you're gonna put one on each side of your channel. Like this. We're gonna stake it real good. We got our trap. <laughs> got a brand new shiny trigger on this trap. Oh well. Gotta get broke in somehow. So I'm just gonna set that right there. And then that. Alright, now. Ooh, one of my safeties already flipped off. Something you always gotta watch, guys. Watch your safeties. Those things ain't on. You get caught and that ain't gonna feel good. I haven't gotten caught yet. Hopefully I never will. But be safe. So then you take and slide the trap down. Oops. That was not a strong stick, obviously. Still on my third. Hold it. Push the trap down to the bottom. This is a nice, uh, hard bottom spot, really sandy. They've been using this a lot. Um, put our stick through the, the chain. Actually, I'll just put another one through the spring. I don't have any wire on this trap, so gotta make sure to stake it, stake it good. Don't want them making off with your trap. There. Just like that. And take some grass. You can you can do a dive stick, but when I can, I like to just blend it in with what I've got here grass. I, I might actually throw a dive stick over that. Just to 
hope that grass sit nicer just like that and that's it that's your channel set super easy set extremely effective that beaver keeps me coming up in here either to cut wood or I've got my caster lure here it's either gonna be coming up in here to cut or to small that lure when he comes you're gonna dive under this he won't go over it he'll go under it and bam you're gonna have him he's not even gonna see it coming Put some cast lure out and be on our way. All right, guys, I got another trap here. I'm gonna show you in a sec. This spot's pretty cool. It's like a little dam crossover here, but they just they've got a little. They're just kind of swimming around in here. It's kind of funny, but um, I think it's mainly a dam crossover here. Really good pinch down set. Um, there's no lure needed in this kind of set at all. Uh, it's just a really good set. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys. Uh, it's just a 330 pinch down set, that's all it is. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Shoot, probably not. Well, anyways, you can see right there, there's a 330 set just under the water right there. And you can see my two sticks staking it down with the dive pole over top. It's brushed in, we got the dam going this way. This weird little island thing they do have a hole going under it but uh i don't think i'm not gonna set that up i'm just gonna leave this one set they're just coming where i'm at right here um this little crossover and there were bubbles coming in here under the ice the ice just broke up in here so we're throwing one in there i don't think we need to put lure here should catch them coming through Another really good pinch down set. All right guys, so we got a really nice looking crossover right here. Um, it appears that they're using it. The ice is broke out above it and there's bubbles coming to it. So we're gonna throw a 330 in here. Um, these types of sets you can set below the crossover where they're hitting the water below it. You can set it at the top. You can put footholds here. You can really do anything. You'll catch otters, beavers, muskrat you'll catch anything at these sets in this particular situation all i've got is a 330 with me i'm going to set it right up here i just like the way this already looks they're already they've got they're kind of brushed in so i'm just going to sneak a 330 right in here and uh we're going to see what we catch i'll show you guys how i'll do that real quick So a little tip guys, when you're setting traps and they're not completely submerged underwater, what you're going to want to do is something I usually do anyways, I like to set my traps upside down most of the time. Probably 99% of the time I set them upside down. I don't, you don't have to, I don't really know why, it's just something I do. I feel like if the beaver's a little more shy, it just helps hide the trigger. Um, but when you're setting, there's only a couple inches of water here. You don't want the trigger sticking up out of the water in front of them, giving them something to smell and something to see. You want it, which this trigger isn't a very good example. This, this probably happened when I was back in the woods. I trigger fell off, so I tied a piece of wire on there. But you want to bend the trigger over to where it's low. It's going to be completely covered by the water so that when they swim through there, there's nothing that it's just open. There's no trigger sticking up in their face. So you want to bend your trigger down so that it's under the water. safeties off. Don't ever forget that. I've made that mistake before and it sucks. down right there. 
get to the bottom. Um, need a couple sticks here to help stabilize it so it doesn't tip over. blended in sure that you wire, always try to wire your trap off to something guys, because man I cannot stress, especially if we catch an otter, it is amazing how much, like an otter is so tough, and you'll totally catch an otter in this trap, it's very high possibility of it, and they, the, the otters are such a tough animal, they will fight and fight and fight, and they will, if you don't have it staked, they can take your trap a long way. So you, you may never find it. You want to make sure you got it. Ooh, over here. Oh, there we go. You want to make sure you got it staked good or wired off to a tree or wired off to something. If you don't have a big tree to wire it to, just find a big log. Um, they won't pull a log very far, obviously, but you want it, always want to try and have it attached to something, which I'm not always good at doing. Sometimes I don't, and I know someday I'll regret it, but always try to attach your trap to something. And that right there is your crossover. Once again, no lure needed in this one. Um, yeah. Should, uh, we should have a beaver here. I might actually put a little lure here just because um, I don't know if they're using it every night. It sure does look like it, but um, I've only got one night to trap this pond right now, probably maybe two nights. So I don't know. I guess I'll just I'll leave it without the lure. Just a complete blind set. I'm just gonna catch them coming through. Really good set. Alright guys, I'm in here, this is check number four on this beaver pond. These beavers are ridiculously smart, I haven't caught anything, I've had nothing but sprung, tra I had one sprung trap so far and a bunch of empty traps. Check number four, the crossover, um, you guys saw me set up with a 330, looks like we got a beaver in it, finally, so I'm going to pull it out here and get a look at what we got here. That's a good one, guys. Get all the grass off. That's a big one. Real good size one. Good, at least 40 pounder. Probably 45, somewhere around there. Nope. Good beaver. Hopefully you guys can see him decently. Um, yeah, look at that. He's been fighting. He got a big old chunk missing out of his tail. 
great big old tail on them. Guys, this just goes to show this beaver, I mean, this is a big beaver. I mean, look at the way it caught him. Right by the, right behind the skull, right on the neck. And guys, I had this thing staked and they thrashed around so hard, he pulled that stake out. And luckily he got tangled up, he didn't go anywhere. They're usually, usually dead, they just, their nerves are going so crazy and they're so strong. They still, they can really take that trap for a ride, so you gotta secure them good. But uh, that's that's a really nice beaver there. I'm excited. This is gonna be some a good pelt and uh, some good fur and uh, bobcat bait. Great big one right there. That's awesome. I'm pumped. Good one down, guys. Awesome. All right, guys, back in the shed here. Um, I got a beaver here, you can't see in the camera, but I got it up here on the bench. I just weighed it, actually wound up being a 50 pounder, um, which is awesome. It's not a super common thing to catch a 50 pounder. And this is our second one already this year. I've caught eight, this is number eight for beavers this year. And I've already had two 50 pounders, so that is awesome. Um, but just wanted to uh, kind of go over the ponds that we're trapping. I've got two ponds that I've had set up for four days now. Um, both of them have very smart beavers. The beavers have been trapped before. I've trapped in there before. Um, lots of other people have. The there's not a lot of young beavers in there. It's, check four and I've, this is the first beaver I've caught out of there which that immediately tells me when there's that much sign and you know I'm setting all the sign I put four traps in that pond and I didn't have any little beavers I haven't caught anything I mean that tells me right away there's probably one maybe two big beavers in there and they're really smart they've been trapped before they know traps when they see them um, they're gonna be hard to catch normally you'll never catch those beavers in the 330s. I obviously, I had this trap disguised enough to where he made a mistake. Uh, two nights ago, I had a snapped trap in there, nothing in it. Um, also tells me that they're smart. They'll, they see them, you know, they know when they see it, they'll fire those traps off, they'll shove sticks in it and stuff. But uh, just wanted to touch base on this because Lots of your videos on YouTube and stuff, you know, all you see is the catches and the success. And you don't see all the misses and miss traps, which I'm not going to show you guys. I'm not going to bore you with all the empty traps and the empty checks, you know. But I am going to tell you, though, because I don't want it to be fake. I want you guys to know exactly what's going on out there. Like... It's not always just set up a pond and catch, 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 and you're just nailing them all. Like, there's a lot of smart beavers out there, and people have trapped before. They don't necessarily know what they're doing, or, you know, sometimes you make mistakes, and it educates the beaver, and now they know, and you're going to have a hard time catching them after that. Normally, you got to use footholds or snares or something. you got to change it up. you got to get creative. But, uh... In this circumstance, we did wind up catching this one um, in the 330, so that's cool. But just want you guys to know that if any of you are starting out trapping or are thinking about trapping, don't get discouraged when you're not catching stuff every day or, you know, every trap isn't catching some. Guys, 80% of the traps don't catch anything that I set, you know. And that goes for all the trappers out there. You won't see that in their videos. And they won't, most of them won't tell you that. Most of your traps won't catch anything. Um, but get your traps out there, wait it out. The more traps you got out, the more catches you're gonna get, obviously. Um, the more ground you're covering. I really like to go into areas and I just, I set, you know, heavy, you know, well, really not heavy. I set, you know, two, three traps in a spot, quick sets that I can check, and then boom, I'm on to the next spot. I'm covering lots of ground. That way, you know, I'm 
I'm getting the quality sets in, the main sets that I know are more likely to catch the beavers. And boom, on the next spot, you're covering lots of ground. Um, right now, I've only got two ponds set up, so I'm not expecting to catch a lot. And obviously both ponds, the other pond I've trapped for years, and I know there's, there's a couple, at least one big beaver in there that I have not been able to catch for probably at least, I think this is eight years now I've been trapping that pond. I've not been able to catch that beaver. Just really smart, educated. So um, I'm, I'm gonna get that beaver, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really try, I'm hoping anyway. Um, I will not give up till that beaver's gone out of there. So, um, but yeah, I am gonna wrap this video up on this beaver though. Um, bobcat season starts tomorrow, although I don't think I'm going to be able to get traps out tomorrow yet. Um, I've got a funeral that I got to go to and that's, that's going to take up the day. So, but I am going to get bobcat traps out as soon as possible. I'm going to try real hard to get a video of that. Um, hopefully I'm really hoping to catch my first one in season. I've caught one bobcat before and it was out of season, so I had to release it. But, uh, yeah, so that's hopefully coming. Hopefully a lot more uh, beaver trapping videos through the winter here. Um, once we get lots of ice, good safe ice, I'm going to get out. I'm going to try and do some videos um, showing you guys how to trap through the ice. Really excited about that. It's one of my favorite ways to catch beavers. Um, so if you haven't yet, uh, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Um, that way you're not going to miss any of this stuff, you know. Um, I'm really hoping, you know, I really want to share this stuff with people out there that maybe are thinking about getting into it or trying to learn. I'm hoping, you know, this really uh, will help you guys learn some stuff or, you know, the people that aren't able to get out anymore, or, you know, be able to um, bring back some memories for you. You know, maybe if you used to be able to do it and you can't anymore. Um, but I'm just wanting to get this out there and share this with as many people as possible. You know, it's a, it's a dying thing, the trapping, you know, not many people do it anymore. I very rarely run into anybody doing it up here, but, uh, so yeah, share the videos, guys, share it out there, share it with your friends. Um, really appreciate all the subscribers and the comments I'm getting. It's really encouraging. Um, getting lots of views, so really encouraging. Really, I really appreciate all the comments, guys. Uh, it's cool to see, you know, lots of you, same people come back every video and comment. And, um, it's really encouraging, and it's fun to be able to chat with other others of you across the country and the world. Really, um, it's really cool. So, if you got any other video ideas of maybe some you guys would like to see? Um, on the channel, you know, I'm thinking about trying to do some ice fishing videos once that comes, you know, we get good ice. Um, let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. Um, but yeah, just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the channel, anything I should try and change. You know, I'm, I'm still learning a lot. I'm pretty, I'm doing all my filming pretty much with my phone. So anyway, guys, uh, until next time, thanks for watching tight chains. God bless y'all.